common misconceptions about what a writer should do after their script is finished? Let's see, one is getting your script registered with the WGA versus having it copyrighted versus mailing it to yourself. I've seen many writers who still believe that if you mail your script to yourself, that counts as a copyright. No, it does not. It will not hold up in court. The only thing that will hold up in court is a copyright where it has an official document attached to it that says this script was, doc was copyrighted on this date. Uh, WGA registration is still better than mailing it to yourself, but it's not quite as good as a copyright, um, especially with the way that they change, uh, like their, their copyright or their registration and stuff only goes like overall, it doesn't go like per draft, whereas the copywriting, you're gonna to wanna to copyright each, each thing, that way you get proof of it. It's a little more expensive to copyright, but it's the safest thing if one of those very rare stealings ever happen. What's a paranoid screenwriter? The people who are afraid that their stuff is gonna get taken, people who won't send their stuff out to competitions, won't send their stuff out to producers without an NDA, never ever send an NDA to a producer. Be like, oh, you can't read my script until you, no, they'll just give you your NDA back. Be like, well, then I don't need to read your script. Um, which I've met several people who think that they need to send an NDA out in order to get a producer to read. No, the producer is not gonna send that NDA. You need to send an NDA for the producer possibly if you if you wanna work on the project that they're needing to hire a writer for, you know, to, to save their butts, that you're not then gonna take their idea and go write it yourself without them. Uh, but they will not sign an NDA for you 